Hey, today we're gonna try something a little different. We're gonna make pancakes. We have the Pillsbury Funfetti buttermilk pancake and waffle mix with Oreo cookie pieces. And the Cap'n Crunch Berry Tastic pancake mix, which it says is the Aunt Jemima, uh, is the base for this one. This one doesn't say, so it is, I assume, the Pillsbury. So these are both complete mixes, so all you need is water. And uh, let's see what the uh, batters are like. So the uh, Funfetti Oreo definitely smells like Oreo cookies. And it says it has Oreo cookie pieces in it, and I can see them. The Captain Crunch, let's see what we got here. Um, doesn't smell like much of anything, but it's probably going to be a more plain pancake, uh, not quite as sweet, possibly, as these. So I'm going to head over to the stove and make some pancakes. Okay, here we have the batters that came out of these. The Oreo cookie batter isn't bad. It's a little sweet, so if you like your pancakes less sweet, this is probably not going to be something for you. I can sort of taste the chocolate, though. The Captain Crunch Berry Tastic uh, turned into... Now, I like Captain Crunch cereal, as I've discussed before. The batter for this actually does taste like the Captain Crunch cereal. I, I didn't think they'd go there. I thought it was just going to be marketing and that it would be a pretty plain pancake, but... The batter actually tastes like the Captain Crunch cereal, which uh, is a pleasant surprise. Unfortunately, I mean, it's not a terribly attractive batter because it turns kind of brownish, even though it's got the little flecks of color in it. The Funfetti Oreo doesn't seem to have any Funfettiness to it, which is interesting because, you know, it says Funfetti buttermilk pancakes, but in the picture it doesn't show it either. Normally when I think of Funfetti, I think of this, the, the multicolored things, but that is not the case. That just must be the brand. So we made the pancakes, and here we have them. As you will see, the, uh, the Captain Crunch ones, they're not terribly attractive. The, the color becomes a little brown and muddy looking. But they, they brown up nice. The Oreo ones didn't caramelize as well, so they don't have the, the more attractive pancake look to them that you might that you might find. But let's go ahead and try these plain to begin with. The Captain Crunch Berry Tastic. It definitely comes out more plain. The dough itself is a little spongy, which is kind of common with these complete mixes where you don't add the oil and, and egg yourself. All in a lot bad. The cooked pancakes don't taste as much like Captain Crunch as the batter does. They're pretty bland, even as a pancake goes, but that is the Aunt Jemima batter, and it's it's not my favorite of the complete pancake mixes. Hungry Jack, I think, is sort of the gold standard for those. The Oreo ones, let's see. Again, a little spongy, which is what you'd expect from a complete mix. There's kind of an odd, almost, I hate to say it, chemically taste to these. Whereas the Berry Tastic, the Captain Crunch, weren't, they were just kind of bland. They tasted fine. These almost have some sort of undertaste that is 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 not is not very attractive <laughs> for a pancake. I get a hint of Oreo flavor to them. The batter itself or the dough itself is a little uh, a little odd tasting for a pancake. So if you're making pancakes and you don't want to make them yourself and you're making them for your kids, yeah, sure. You know, a pancake never pretends to be really healthy anyway. And as sugar goes, these probably, it doesn't look like they're any worse than what you would get in a normal complete pancake mix. And, and I can tell from the taste, they are not overly sweet, which is good. So as pancakes go, these are fine. This one's not too bad. I, you know, uh, if you want to mix it up a little and you 
buy a complete pancake mix and, and you want to try something different, especially for kids, eh, this one's fine. This one, I don't know. I, I mean, the kids will probably think it's cool to have Oreo cookie pieces in them, but you won't want to be eating them again because of that weird flavor of the, the dough itself, which wasn't noticeable in the in the liquid dough, but it, it really is in the, um, in the cooked pancake. Uh, I, I don't see any reason to try these with syrup and butter. You could put syrup and butter on. Sometimes if the pancakes are too sweet, syrup isn't going to be a good choice. But these actually, as I said, once you cook them up, they become blander. So whatever you would top a normal pancake with would be fine for these. Well, there you have it. That was our first video where we actually cooked something. If you want to call that cooking. Like and subscribe and ring the notification bell to be notified of new videos. And as always, if there's anything you want me to try so you don't have to, just let me know.